is one in three Southeast Asian Muslims are more religious than their parents. According to a recent report, one in three Southeast Asian Muslims consider themselves to be more religious than their parents, especially than their parents were at their age. In the, quote, new Muslim consumer report was released on September 21st by the marketing research and advertising company Wonderman Thompson Intelligence. The report explores how religious observance affects consumer market trends and is based on a survey of 1,000 Indonesians and Malaysians. Among the findings, only 21% of respondents say that they are less religiously observant than their parents, while 45% say that they are equally observant. This means that a third consider them to be more religiously focused than their parents. The report says, quote, the idea of halal has gone from mostly about food, namely avoiding pork and alcohol, to include travel, fashion, banking, education, and more. Asia Pacific director of for Wonderman, Chen Mei Yi, said, quote, Muslim consumers are increasingly overlaying their religious beliefs on purchase decisions. He further added, New technologies bring new questions. For example, is the metaverse halal? The report wow. mentions Sharia compliant banking apps, hijabi only hair salons, and halal restaurants are becoming more popular. Founder of uh, the founder of Kuala Lumpur's Imam Research says, "It's good to have halal processes, but do you have to tag it on everything? We are becoming overly cautious. I blame politics." Okay. So what first of all what, wait first of all first of all Silva who's saying how is that good news we didn't say this is good news but have you seen our bad news this is relatively <laughs> chill okay this, this is, is like, super yeah. chill in comparison to talking about like three different massacres today okay yeah this is not this is not good news but like based on our standards this is like we could like breathe a little bit more easily with this one yeah this is bad news we, we recognize that a lot well, of people okay. in live chat were like pointing out yeah Okay, okay I'm actually going to contest this a little bit because people are saying, oh, this is bad news, okay? Really, what they were looking at in this report is consumer decisions. And they measured this by the respondents' own assertion of, one, how religious their parents were, and particularly how religious their parents were at their age, at their current age. So that is like two levels of someone reflecting or speculating on a judgment or something so it's actually not the most accurate way to capture and quantify operationalize like that question so how internally valid is this measure i have major questions okay Still, so i'm not concerned about yeah i'm not i'm not overly concerned about this because this is more about consumer decisions than anything else so i'm looking at this kind of in a different but they're way. describing themselves as more religious in general but it's based off of their judgment of one their parents own religiosity and two their parents religiosity at their own current age those are those are two big assumptions that aren't actually being quantified very systematically that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. um and uh i Mainly, I just want to talk about the, a part of this report specifically looks at questions about the metaverse. And there are a lot of people who are like, if it was halal, I would be interested. But the majority of them thought, I don't think this is halal. I don't think I can engage. So my question to you, Armin, is I need you to put on your Islamic scholar hat and tell us, do you think that the metaverse is halal? Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Because they were depends thinking on, no. Depends on what you do with it. Depends on what you do with it. Like if you are you are you having orgies in the metaverse? Then no. Okay. Are you having Quranic lessons in the metaverse? Then yeah. Then it's halal, right? Are you maybe having orgies? Are you having orgies? Are you having are you having orgies in your Quranic lessons in the metaverse? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm confused. <laughs> but go oh on. my gosh. What do you yeah, think you of maybe they would say that it's haram because it's like an, a construction and cons uh, uh, 
it's a construction of reality that is outside of the creation of God. There's nothing. Okay, show me the hadith. Show me the hadith. Show me the Quranic verse that makes this wrong. You can't challenge it. Okay, you can't. Okay, so don't make stuff up. Don't make stuff up. I mean, the if, the, if there are people who are such hardcore Salafis, they don't even let their children draw because that is a creation that is not of Allah. I'm talking. Then there's got to be Islam. people who think the same thing about the metaverse. I'm not going Salafi on you, okay? If I go Salafi on you, I don't know what. Like, I have to list the things that are halal, right? And the list of th- list of things that are haram, right? So, uh, no, yeah. So I'm just doing mainstream Islam, okay? I'm not going for for um, you know, Salafi on you. But yeah, I mean, again, I think it's a tool Islamically. If I was a mullah or mushta or whatever, it's a tool. So the the halal or by the way, for people who don't know, halal means allowed Islamically. Okay, haram means not allowed Islamically. The halal or haram would depend on how you use it. It would be like asking, is YouTube halal? Okay, or is TV halal? Or is radio halal? Or are books halal? I like I well, I don't know. The Quran is a book that's halal, obviously. Okay, Salman Rushdie's book that's not halal. That's haram. Depends on the. It's not you can't make a judgment on the vehicle or on the tool. It depends on what the tool is being used for, right? Okay, let me see. Susie is gone. Let me just see what I could read. And I wanna, I want if I make if metaverse making metaverses becomes easy. Okay, I would like to have an orgy inside the Kaaba. Can we do I will do that. I want to be the first person that <laughs> arranges an orgy inside of the Kaaba. You know I will do it, right? <laughs> we will make a metaverse version of the Kaaba and we have orgies in it. We, <laughs> <he will come. laughs> Cosmic Heathen is saying, count me in. Oh Thank my you. god. Guys, raise your hand in the live chat if you will on the or in the comment section if you will come to my orgy <laughs> at the Kaaba. If there is a minute. Yes? Okay, good. I will join. People are saying yes. Okay, cool. Oh, my Susie, God. Yeah, yay or nay to Orji and Kaba? Uh... <laughs> I can't give a blanket yes or no. I have to know who's involved, okay? <laughs> no, guys. We, everybody will have their own gathering. You don't have to be in. If if you look at the gathering and you see like, okay, no, 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 thank you. You could go pick, make, you make your own. Like there will be some people. Yeah, it's not going to be one orgy. It will be like multiple different groups, different places, and everybody gets to choose the people who will be in their gathering. So, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it will be around the in the Kaaba, okay? But a selected few would be. They are, would be inside the box, inside the cabin. <laughs> so funny. Bar saying, I will be there yeah. early. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Beep Boop is like, I am shy. I can support though. God. What do you think? Okay, so like I have my own contentions about like how valid of a way in terms of this report like the internal validity of this measure i have contentions right but let's take let's just say that it is a good measurement a good assertion of this question if what do you think about if southeast asian muslims are actually becoming more religious then we are failing them i do think that the whole atheist activists online atheist activist scene has been very disconnected from Southeast Asia. Yeah. Right? And now we need to make a bridge. We need to make a bridge, especially in Indonesia. We have like, we're, comp- we're disconnected from Indonesia. And it's a lot because of the language barrier there, right? So we have like, Atheist Republic has done a good job in connecting to Malaysia a little bit, right? But we have, we, we, that connection has been, um, you know, challenged by the government there, right? So we have, we can't be as active as we were before. Hopefully one day we, this seems like it's going to get even more dangerous in the future. I don't know, right? Uh, Indonesia is like, we need, we, I wish we could do a better job in Indonesia. 
because they mm -hmm. we, there's a major disconnect between us and Indonesia, right? Africa, we have been doing a good job. You know, Middle East, obviously, we have done a good job. India, we have done a good job. Um, Europe, we have done a good job. Uh, South Parts America. Parts of South Asia. South, yeah, South Asia, we did a good job. Bangladesh, we did a good job. Pakistan, we did a good job. But Indonesia, Malaysia, we did a good job until the government came hunting us down there. We were mentioned Literally. in the goddamn parliament. Yeah, and we were like, it was all over the news. We had to tone it down a little bit just for the safety of our members in Malaysia. Indonesia, like, we need to do a lot more work eventually in Indonesia at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we need to. Awesome, he's looking. More... <laughs> oh my god! Should I have it? Awesome is actually happy about this, the the way things are turning out. Awesome saying, "I love Asian girls, and hijabi is my favorite category." Woohoo! So it's a great combination from hijabi and Asian at the same time. He's moving to Malaysia. <laughs> oh my god! I can't take any of y'all seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we I really want to like my dream is that we have what what language do they speak in Indonesia? I think it's Havanese. I think that's how you pronounce Malay. it. Malay. Huh? No, in it's Indonesia, good. in Malaysia they speak Malay. In Indonesia No, it's 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 close. It's close. In, uh... It's it's spelled with a J, like Java, Javanese, or something. Uh, um, Anyways, I know I, want, I, know I want to provide whatever is... content in that language. I want to have our own channel for Atheist Republic Indonesia, Athe Atheist Republic Malaysia. Like I would love to have channels in those languages. See, I was right. Okay, Indonesian um, or Bahasa um, is the official and national language of Indonesia. It is a standardized variety of Malay. I knew I was onto something. Then what was I thinking of? No, you were right. You said the you said something with the B, which is no, no, Java, Javanese. So I was right too. Oh, okay. Indonesian is spoken by ninety four percent of the population, but is the primary language of only twenty percent of the population. Javanese or Jawa is the most common primary language Javanese okay most Indonesian it seems, well because it's entirely regional especially oh. across the island so the national oh my god it's kind of like the Philippines so the national language is different from what most people speak why did yeah. you make the national why did you make the national language a different language than what most people speak probably is it based on what area had the most power at the time Amazing. Okay, most commonly spoken languages is Indonesian Malay followed by Javanese. Okay, so the, the question is that what most people speak and what's the official language? So what most of the uh, uh, what the official language is, is Bahasa, Bahasa, which is a variety of Malay, but what most people speak is Javanese. Okay. So like in the Philippines, for example, the official language is Tagalog, but most people I think speak Bisaya. Mm. Interesting. Uh, anyway, I so we need to be I providing am, content I, in that the language. Co the coders in our language are like, did I hear Java? <laughs> no, I mean, it is actually, that's what it comes from. Oh, really? That's, that's yeah. <laughs> amazing. Like, that's an actual place. Java is a place. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.